Hey there Aquarius, how are you? This is Lori coming to you from your Empress Energy. I hope you all had an excellent week last week and are having an amazing day today. I have here the Zodiac die. I'm going to roll that to see what energies, what might be in the room and also anybody that you might be dealing with might be under one of these signs. So we have strong Gemini, then we have Taurus, Aries, Cancer, possibly some Leo, and maybe some Virgo. Yeah, Virgo. Okay, um, I have a new deck of Oracle cards here, and they are called the Spirit Animal Oracle. And these are incredible cards with incredible messages. And I'm going to draw two cards from this deck at the beginning of the reading now. And then I will read you from the book what the message is. Let's, uh, let me, yeah, that one, those two wanted to come out, so we're going to stick with those two. All decks have been pre shuffled, cut, and set for each reading. So the first one is 22. It is Dragon Spirit. Truth transcends illusion. Wow, that's cool. And then the other card is number six, which is Beaver Spirit. Lay a solid foundation. That sounds like some really good advice. We'll go ahead and uh, see what that means for you later on in the reading. Okay, so I am going to do your reading as usual, with the Dreamscapes um, tarot deck. And I will do the housekeeping, per se, while I'm shuffling so that I can... Oh, look at these two cards that just started your message. The Magician and the Sun. Two major arcana. Oh, last reading I just did for Pisces, they had four major arcana right straight across the board. Okay. Anyways... For you guys, my Aquarians, I need to tell you that tarot is not for everyone, okay? And if tarot, if this reading does not resonate with you, please go check out your sun sign, your rising ascendant sign, and your Venus and moon signs. And if you don't know though what those um, signs are, you can get a free birth chart done online just do a search for free birth chart put in your information which is um that they asked for which is your date of birth time you were born and what town you were born in or city or whatever you were born in okay and once you do that they populate this really intensely um information filled um print out for you that you can print out or save or whatever um, all about yourself and it will tell you what your you know what your sun sign is because that's what, what this is the Aquarius okay but it will also tell you your ascendant slash rising sign your Venus and moon sign and many others but those Venus moon ascendant and sun signs are the ones that influence you the most okay I happen to be an Aries sun sign with a very strong Scorpio ascendant so I present myself to the world as a Scorpio, but I'm really an Aries inside, okay? Whoops, that one's going to go there. Look at this. Oh my gosh, guys. General term, okay? I know there are women in the room. I'm from upstate New York, and we say guys for everybody. Like, hey guys. Anyways, um, you have the Empress, the Lovers, the Sun, and the Magician here. Four major arcana right off the bat. Let's have one more card for the message, if we can, please. And we'll see what is on the bottom of the deck, too. But, wow, look at this. There's nothing negative in this reading. Nothing. My Aquarians, did you break free from whatever has been holding on to you? Okay, I got two cards. Both queens. That's interesting. We got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. And on the bottom of the deck, we've got an Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I just realized we've got the King and Queen of Swords above and below. Okay, that is a soulmate connection. 
could be a twin flame because of them being above and below each other. If they were facing each other, I would definitely say it's a twin, twin flame relationship here. You've got the lovers here too. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What a start to this reading. Okay, there's the negative stuff. That's where it is. It's all in the past, okay? You have the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords. Wow. Okay, just wow. You got three queens here now. Queen of Wands, Swords, and Cups. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords, you're moving on to smoother waters. Two of Cups. When you get the Lovers and the Two of Cups, this is more than a soulmate. This is a twin flame relationship. Somebody from your past or somebody you've led many past lives with. Yep. Okay. And look at that. You got the Nine of Cups in your future. It's coming. It is coming. Okay. So, <laughs> you have definitely put behind you or are breaking free from whatever I kind of, there it is, Eight of Swords, the trouble that you have been going through for so long. <sighs> this is, I mean, this is such awesome energy right here. It's just incredibly beautiful and I just want to sit and bask in it right now. Because this starts off with a magician, you manifested what you are about to receive. You have been looking for your true soulmate, okay? We, we have many soulmates throughout life. Soulmates are meant to come along to help us grow throughout life. We They come and they go. So they come into our lives, they help us learn a lesson, and then they move on to go learn their own lessons, okay? And hopefully we continue to learn ours. Um, you have been manifesting a twin flame, basically. <laughs> a true soulmate. Somebody that you really, that really gets you. Somebody that really understands you. And that you, you trust inexplicably. You just trust them. You feel that the vibes that they have given you are beautiful and that they have, that you two have spent time together. It, it, you feel like you've known this person forever. That, let me put it that way. And I'm sorry, I'm just overwhelmed with how absolutely fantastic this feels. Um, but I'm also getting that an offer needs to be made okay i'm usually when i get an ace i say that the offer's coming in to you but because it's sitting here with the king of swords which swords represent this is you aquarians okay um air all air i i am getting a strong sense that you need to be reaching out to whoever this person is okay Let's get some clarification. It, you're looking for happiness, bliss, childlike. You want to look at the world through a child's eyes again. And I think you're going to be able to do this with this person. Okay? I mean, that is right here. This is right here. It's all together. And this communication is going to be recepted, or received very well. Very well. Okay, there is no, if you look at this, there is no conflict. There is nothing. This is in the past, okay, that Eight of Swords, and that's mental conflict. That's your conflict. That was you keeping yourself trapped in your head. And I think you're ready to communicate with this person. You've been holding yourself back from them out of respect out of respect oh my goodness okay um out of respect for them 
are they in a situation were they going through something if you're a twin flame then you were going through the same thing hmm This page of wands suggests that your person may have shown you somehow that they're still, that they're thinking of you, that they are thinking of you. Maybe they uh, sent you a message. Maybe, oh, you know what? Music. See how she's playing an instrument here? You two connect through music. And you've heard a song that you just know was sent to you because you two are mirroring each other, okay? You're definitely mirroring energies here, matching energies, um, matching experiences, matching feelings. Don't hesitate to reach out to this person. There may be mo a moment, a moment, I'm not even hearing much longer than that, a moment where the person says, I just need you to speak. Tell me what happened. And you may need that too. When it's twin flame, it's it goes both ways, okay? So a great heart-to-heart -heart conversation should be held. And if... It looks like if this is what you've been manifesting, you're going to get it because the divine is offering you um, a fountain that gives you absolute um, happiness in all of aspects of life, okay? There are actually five fountains here. I thought there was four, but there are five. You've got relationships, love, health, wealth, and career, okay? It's all being offered and, and a new beginning at that, got the empress here too is that how you view wow you've got two queens and the empress the lovers my goodness king of swords here aquarius um i think you've had some choices in your past but i think since you're looking down here at this empress that she is your true. Oh, yeah. She's your true match. This one was the soulmate that you have been in a karmic relationship with. But this Empress and you are the twin flames. Wow. That's deep. <laughs> That's beautiful. I mean, just look at how they're gazing at each other. That is incredible. Wow, Aquarians, whether you're male or female, I think you have found your match. Okay, let's see if we have any other messages from this particular deck. Let's see if we can get something from the Page of Wands here. I do really believe that you're communicating through music, though. You're a message through music is going to show you that seven of pentacles you've been contemplating your where you stand in the world you know is, are my finances good enough I've, I've got everything i need here what should i do now should i should i make this move forward or should i stay here because i'm i'm secure in where i'm at it looks to me like if you've got a choice, I, I would go ahead and uh, follow the Divine's <laughs> uh, way, uh, okay, their suggestion, and go for it. If you are not with this person right now, and I don't think you are, I think you were caught up in a major karmic cycle. And I'm pretty sure last reading, the, the Wheel of Fortune showed up and uh, the world too. And it turned in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune turned in your favor and you ended a karmic cycle. So don't sit too long in this energy of contemplating. 
if you want to connect with your person, because I'm feeling like you two have not been together. You both had things that you had to deal with. Okay, and you're going to go in with a, uh, a very, you want to go in with a very stable offer. I can understand that. That is who you are. You're not going to go in with anything less than a stable offer. Yeah, and whoa, <laughs> there was a tower moment, no doubt about that. Okay, and look at this, the emperor over the empress. Yeah. You two are definitely meant to be together, okay? There's been a lot of dissatis dissatisfaction in both of you, yours energy. I can really feel it here. There may have been some voices on both of your parts, but since this is your reading, I'm going to say for you, you may have been caught up in some sort of overindulgence in drinking, drugs, eating, sex, whatever it might be, just overindulging, okay? And it has kept you from seeing the good that is right there waiting for you. But it looks like justice has been served and you will be moving forward. Oh, there's the Queen of Swords again. Clear, concise communication, okay? And actually, with the dissatisfaction on, you know, with her, the Queen of Swords, yeah, this is your karmic person. And justice was served. Judgment was made, okay? And the Queen of Cups. She, I, oh, she's pleading. You're leaving and she is pleading for you to stay. She's using everything thing in her power to keep you with her oh my gosh you can't make this up the empress and the emperor twice she's twice in this reading okay aquarians you guys have to make the decision you're the only ones that can okay but it looks like you are planning to move forward and make an offer to the person that you believe is your divine counterpart. And from what I'm seeing here, I think the universe thinks you are too. Um, I see nothing that says that this person won't accept an offer from you, a relationship with you. Let's see what this clarification or outcome we can get with this deck this is actually beautiful i mean any relationship that ends is a sadness it is it, it doesn't matter it's a sadness however um it happens in life okay and sometimes people just aren't meant to be together I can speak from personal experience. I was not meant to be with the last person I was with, but I stayed and I stayed way too long. All right. So what we have here for clarification is a decision has to be made or has been made and you are going to be moving forward very quickly. You're going to have a very honest heart to heart conversation with this person and you will have a stable outcome. Okay. And oh my gosh, on the bottom of the deck. Four of Wands. This is leveling up energy, okay? You have crossed the finish line. You will accomplish what you have set out to attain. Happy home, happy life. It's all there for you. Oh my gosh! The Emperor, twice in this reading. The Empress, twice in this reading. The Queen of Swords, twice in the... Oh my gosh, Aquarians. You can't ask for a better reading. This is your future. You are the one in control here. You're the magician. You have all the power to create this sun ending, this happiness, this joy, this bliss, this ability to look at the world with childlike awe again. To have that person in your life that understands you, that you understand, that you want to be with. And they want to be with you just as much. It's all up to you. 
you have to take the the reins but there are no reins on this particular chariot okay you have to trust that your decision is going to be the right one and i'm telling you the universe is saying that it is okay the universe is telling you go for it we've got your back we're going to offer you all of this that you are looking for oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my okay <laughs> i've got oh i never did the i got chills i have got chills i never did the uh number die i'm gonna go ahead and roll those now while i just kind of sit and enjoy this energy sorry loose can in there okay two three five eight review you can always rewind the video if you can't catch it and you want to write it down or do a screenshot five three seven one six nine i can do that five three seven one nine okay awesome okay i also have the die with the letters on it so i'm going to roll the die five times and then i'm going to hold it up here each time and you can take a screenshot or you can write the letters down or you can rewind the video until you get all the letters that you need you can use this any way that you want as it may spell out a word a name it could be initials abbreviations of places you've been a connection with any of your people use it the way you want to as it resonates with you and if you don't want to participate in this at all then don't it's called free will okay we have an x on the top here for the first roll for the second roll we have a y on top i hope that's clear there we go three Ooh, i really got crazy the second time i've gotten a j and i hadn't gotten one before that in all my other readings there is the j Four is an S. And five is an E. Okay, now let me read from the book what these cards mean for you, my Aquarians. Okay, card six. The beaver spirit says, whoops, went right past it, sorry. I love the, these reading the messages in here too. These are really nice. All right. So Beaver Spirit says, lay a solid foundation. Beaver Spirit is here to tell you about a power living within you that is born of spirit, the source from which all life arises. This is the power to establish the sacred connection with the universal consciousness so you can deliberately co-create the world you desire. Know that it takes work, determination, and sustained effort to co-create and lay a solid foundation for your dreams. If, with spirit as your partner, you bring the twigs and branches of your intentions and desires and spread them across the river of time, you'll be amazed at what you can, you can do. You will find that you can even change the direction of the flow of life. You can ensure that your world will be prosperous and purposeful, filled with love and joy and rich with magic and meaning. That which you desire will come to you and remain sustainably if you build on a sturdy foundation. Keep your intention and energy consistent and deliberate using all of your resources in the energy of this wonderful productive time have faith for with spirit to co-create with you your success is assured spirit is your partner helping you along as you change the course of your life in the way your heart desires that's beautiful and that's true <clears throat> and this spirit can be any spirit out there that you are attuned to god the universe the cosmos this spirit is energy okay so your protection message is beaver spirit has come to warn you to check for rotten wood in the foundations of your dreams 
Perhaps you built your hopes on faulty promises or wishful thinking that something would work out just because you wanted it to. Yep, I think I mentioned that in my life. Maybe you made choices from a place of unworthiness, hoping that once you got what you desired, it would somehow change you and make everything better. And you had to face the truth that it didn't. Or Beaver Spiever, Beaver Spiever. <laughs> Or beaver spirit may be telling you it is time to accept things as they are and perhaps consider abandoning the project, relationship, or situation so that you can make room for something better. Perhaps you need to go back and rebuild a solid foundation because what you desire may not be in alignment with what your soul intends. And I see that here. I see you... Aquarians building, you want a stable foundation before you go in and offer anything to anyone, okay? This is a fresh start, but it's a stable foundation to, to build from, okay? All right, Beaver Spirit says you can always get busy and build something fresh and new if the desire is true. All manner of miracles can spring up from a new, strong foundation when you remember your partnership with spirit. Be clear about what you're building and why, choosing from a place of worthiness, well-being, and wholeness. Self-understanding and acceptance will provide you with a solid blueprint to begin again. Let me read that again. Self-understanding and acceptance will provide you with a solid blueprint to begin again. Get busy now. Beaver Spirit says this is not a time to procrastinate, but a time to start building again. Always mindful of the foundation you are laying, trusting that Spirit is co-creating with you. That's awesome. That was definitely a message for me. Absolutely. I don't know if you heard my sidebar in there, but yes, you know, I, I'm... I used to be good at wanting things and thinking I could make them into what I wanted them to be. But that's not how it works, okay? That's not how it works. Anyways, my Aquarians, I hope you have an awesome week. I hope you enjoyed this video, this reading. If this resonated with any of you, please drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought. What resonated? How does this make you feel? Are you caught in a twin flame relationship? Are you happy about it? How does it make you feel? I would really love to hear your point of view. Also, if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, you know, do all those things that we ask you to do all the time. I would appreciate it. But I want to end by saying thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you that visits this channel. And if you are a returning viewer. I really appreciate you. If you are new here, I want to say welcome, welcome, and I hope you will be back. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.